preparedness kit all right this bag will help you get through the worst conditions you could possibly imagine at least to get you going and hopefully out of the bad zone it's based on the 10 C's of survival and everything included in this bag has a multi-purpose uh, use so I'm gonna walk you through what's inside tell you how to use it and after that, you can add to it what you want or take out what you don't want. But everything in there is useful and will help you get to the position you need to be in to save yourself should the worst happen. Inside, you'll find a cutting tool, various means of combustion, something to provide you cover, a container, cordage, uh, a light source, a compass, some cargo tape, and a repair needle, amongst other things. I'll go ahead and unpack this and we'll see what's inside. I'll start off with the outside pocket. You can see it's got a little red cross. The first aid kit is contained in here. Quick energy, glucose, keeps you going, and it keeps the kids happy. Large dressings, and they also serve as uh, a clean work area if you have to dress a wound. Also if you're incontinent. Here's your first aid kit, it includes it includes tape for uh, making bandages, some, some medicines, you have anti diarrheal, um, there's some uh, Motrin included in your pack, scissors for cutting, lip balm, you've got uh, various size uh, bandages, also have included in your, uh, in your first aid kit, uh, gloves, so you have uh, can safe contact with uh, open wounds. Um, everybody's favorite, the tampon. Great for uh, penetrating wounds. Essentially everything you got here will uh, treat everything from a uh, little cut on your finger to a big gash in your belly. Aspirin, good for the headaches. Motrin, good for the other aches. You also have this handy dandy dispenser to keep stocked with whatever medications uh, you might need. Moving on from the first aid equipment, or are we? We have a knife to do some fine cutting with, or you might need a scalpel for some tissue removal and repairing wounds. Sometimes when you're uh, in a bad situation, you have to leave messages for other folks. And it's usually not hard to find something to write on, but not always can you find something to write with. So, I'm including a permanent marker, Sharpie type, writes pretty much anywhere as long as it's not wet. A light source is included, comes with batteries, but you should check those every six months to make sure that uh, they're not running dry on you. Also, these look like paper clips, and they are. You can also use them as clamps to hold hold the stuff you're working on. You can hold the uh, bits of your uh, 
your cover material closed to keep the wind out. Pretty much whatever you think you can come up with that. We got some bank line here. It's jute twine. It, uh, you can use this for uh, stitching stuff together if it's broken. You can use it for light uh, quarters requirements. And it's pretty tough for uh, for its weight and size. Here's another one of your C's, a container. And a canteen here, PVA free. Inside, you'll find uh, two sets of plastic flatware. Keep on washing that, it'll keep, uh, keep you going. Inside your main compartment, have a small small kit of survival necessities. Have this handily taped shut so it doesn't open up and spill all over the inside of your bag. But included in here you will find a saw, table type, pretty effective, uh, it cuts pretty fast. Here's your repair needle. Uh, you can use this in conjunction with some of your uh, jute twine or the insides of your uh, paracord that's also included. Uh, you can repair, repair clothes, you can repair your tarps, um, anything that's not rigid essentially. A multifunction knife that includes uh, small scissors, a uh, corkscrew, a cutting blade, a uh, a blade that can be used as, a, as an awl or a flat tip screwdriver and a small Phillips. Also included is a credit card size multi-function tool. It's essentially a piece of flat stamped out stainless. Uh, you can do some wrenching on some small bolts with it. It's got a small saw, a tiny cutting blade, a can opener. That's useful for you right there. Um, and it also has a, the ability to do some, some measuring with. And if you're lucky enough to find some, uh, some brews, you got yourself a bottle cap lifter. Waterproof matches. The only problem with that one. That's what means of combustion. Got a whistle. Also a container that has additional matches. Yet another means of combustion. Combustion is your friend. You can cook with it. You can stay warm with it. You can signal with it. Help you out. On top, you got a small compass. I wouldn't use that as a primary means of navigation, but at least to get you pointed in the right direction. Small electric uh, candle. I'm not going to pull the uh, tab to let the battery connect, but this will provide you uh, ample light to see by. Once it's dark, it'll serve as a small area light. You can get about as much light out of this as you would uh, a small tea light. A handy chamois. No, we're not washing our car if uh, everything goes to hell and you're without power and water, but this little towel will absorb well over its uh, mass and water. It can dry off pretty quick with something like this. Right. Moving along. Cutting tool. Got a knife here. Fixed bladed. High carbon steel, very sharp edge, heavy duty. I'll show you in just a moment why you want the high, high carbon steel. Cargo strap, you can adjust that to uh, whatever length you need it to be. You can use the lash stuff to your pack. Uh, or use it as a handle to carry stuff. 
duct tape, do we really have to discuss how many things you can do with duct tape? No, I didn't think so. An actual lensatic compass. I'll take this one out of the box so that you can see it. This will get you pointed in the right direction for sure. And if you got a map, you, it'll take you anywhere. Better than a GPS because it's never going to run out of batteries. We've got cover. Two three mil trash bags, very, very large size. You can use these as ponchos. You can use them to waterproof uh, any supplies that you need to. You throw one over your bag to keep the rain off of it. Good to go. We also have space blankets. Made of mylar, super light, don't take up any room. Um, super, super, super light. Uh, they reflect about 90% uh, of your body heat, so when you throw this over you, uh, it'll keep you pretty, pretty warm, as long as you can keep it secured and not flapping in the wind. But you got tape, you got cordage, you've got your bags. Shouldn't be an issue making that happen. Lighter. Yet another means of combustion. We've got redundancy built in here. Zip ties. Another useful item. You can use this to lash stuff together, um, attach stuff to the outside of your bag to help you carry it. Uh, you can get creative with these. A spoon? Well, yes, a spoon. You can use this for stirring. Well, what would I start with this? Well, you could start with this, things that you cook with your cook set. You have one pan, two pans. One can serve as a lid for the other. You can use both of them to cook and or eat from. Well, what in the world would I cook in those pans? Well, in every disaster, the food that gets put out is your friend and mine, rice. In this case, parboiled. Lasts a long time, has good nutritional value, and a little bit goes a long way. Just add water and boil. Additionally, Chef Boyardee. Yum, yum. Now you don't have to like Chef Boyardee, but the important part is the container it's in. You can dump this out and never eat it. I'd recommend eating it because the calories are good for you. But once you've got done with that, you can use this can to boil water in. Electrical tape, another means of lashing, protecting materials, tying off loose ends. small grill surface. Well, if you're fortunate enough to start a fire and have something to prop this up with, now you have a mean you have a uh, surface to set your uh, set your pans on or your can in order to cook with or you can cook uh, food directly on this. Paracord. Uh, you got uh, 50 feet here, that'll take you a pretty long, pretty long way, and the uses for this are about as endless as duct tape. What the hell is this? Well, this is sold. You probably recognize it when I unfold it. A windshield sun reflector. What the hell would I use this for, you ask? Well, not only is it a little bit cushiony, but it's a great uh, reflector of heat. 
If you have to lay yourself on the ground to get some sleep, you put this between yourself and the ground, you're going to save an incredible amount of heat loss. It's also a light reflector if you're in an emergency situation and you want to yes, flag you someone down. you could use it to signal a pretty large reflective surface. You'll have two of those. Alright, strapped to the bottom of your bag is a tarp. It's a pretty decent sized tarp. Nine and a half feet by seven and a half feet. You can build a decent sized shelter with this. You have something to prop it up. Or if worst case comes, you just toss it over the top of yourself or whatever you're trying to keep dry. Inside the tarp you'll find rolled up a hundred feet of rope. We really don't have to go over the use of the rope, but uh, you can help. You can use this to uh, help yourself build a shelter. Uh, you can use this to uh, make straps to build yourself a pack frame if you have to carry more stuff than what you can put in this bag. Um, the uses are endless. But all those items that we've got in this bag cover every one of your ten C's of survival made a nice handy mess out of them here. The only item that's not included is cotton. But you're likely going to be wearing something made of cotton. And the cotton you can also use as a uh, fuel expedient filter for your water. I recommend tossing a uh, cotton bandana inside the pack. Maybe two of them. That makes a good head covering. But uh, also the water filtering Filtering capability is good, and you can also use it as a small sack to carry items in. Those are the contents of your bag. Good luck, enjoy, and don't let them all go bad.